So I've been told that the roads are pretty bad, so I'm going to uh, do a somewhat shorter homily than I was planning. And you're saying, oh good, a short homily. I didn't say short, I said shorter. Um, but uh, as we remember, as I said last week, about what it, where's my relationship with God, despite what the movie Love Story tells us, love does mean saying, I'm sorry to those whom we love. And uh, where am I in my relationship with God? Do I need confession? Uh, really is coming up this week in my mind because of uh, how John the Baptist is going out for that repentance of sins. So I was planning on going through all the Ten Commandments and really building on what does this look like in our lives and doing an examination of conscience. I will do it, but in a much more abbreviated manner than I was planning. So my apologies for that, but I also realize uh, the roads, we don't want people too, too much on the roads in uh, the dark. But ultimately what this is, is looking for God's mercy and forgiveness. This word repent of changing our lives. And so when we look at the Ten Commandments, the first three are focused on love of God. The last seven are focused on love of God indirectly through love of neighbor. And so the first three, I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other gods beside me, shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, and keep holy the Sabbath. These three things about honoring God, putting him first in our lives. And so we have to look at our lives and saying, have I put God first? A few things to, to ponder over this. What have I put in the place of God? Sometimes we put ourselves where we decide that we are going to be able to say like the world tells us to do, that what I say is right and wrong is right and wrong for me, as opposed to what God says is right and wrong. And so we have to look and say, am I going after things which I think are okay, but God has said through his word, through his church, which are not. For instance, false spiritualities, Reiki, yoga, tarot cards, fortune tellers, mediums, Wicca, New Age. These offend God and they, they are doorways to evil. Do we let ourselves go into those areas? Do we honor God's name? Do we avoid unnecessary work on, on the Sabbath, on Sunday? Then looking at love of neighbor, honoring parents, the fourth commandment. Obviously, this means our parents, but other proper authority. And we look at, do we have maybe a spirit of rebellion going against what proper authority is telling us to do? Well, that's not what I want to do, so I'm going to do it my way. Well, that's going against this fourth commandment. Obviously, there are times when we do have to fight against unjust laws. But do we have that automatic response of, if it's not what I think is right, therefore I will fight against it in the spirit of rebellion? Fifth commandment, you shall not kill. Certainly it looks at murder, but it's, everything is about the sacred dignity of human life. Do we, do we go against that through abortion, euthanasia, suicide? Do we support embryonic research? You know, as we look at, for instance, the vaccines coming out, some of them, yes, are, are done in morally correct ways, but some are made with the cells of dead babies. We need to be aware of that. If we do decide that we're going to get a vaccine for COVID-19, are we taking something that's morally okay? Or are we building our health on dead babies? This, like I said, I'm doing this quickly. I wanted to get a little bit more detailed, but we're going to have to do this quickly. With the sixth commandment, adultery, looking at our sexual sin, not just adultery, but fornication and self-abuse, contraception, sterilization, in vitro fertilization, any manner of our sexual relationship that's not open both to bonding and to babies within the context of marriage. Seventh commandment, stealing, do I take things that don't belong to me, including time from work by my wasting time maybe on social media or other things. 
Eighth commandment, lying. Shall not commit, uh, not gossiping, not exaggerating, things like that. Ninth and tenth commandments have to do with the mind, not just the action, our desires. So where the sixth commandment is about sexual sin, the ninth commandment is about uh, lust. Where the seventh commandment is about stealing, the tenth commandment is about undue desire for the things of others. And so we look at these things and say, for instance, with lust, it's that making someone else an object for my own pleasure. Pornography, other, other ways of doing that. And then uh, with undue desire, with the Tenth Commandment, for other people's stuff. It's an ingratitude. I'm ungrateful for the things that God has given me, and I want more or different. So as we continue through Advent and are looking at how God is calling us to his heart, calling us to deeper relationship, we do have to break free from sin. So let us ask God for that grace to repent, to turn away from sin, be faithful to the gospel, and truly to allow him to convict us of those areas of our lives which go against his very heart, and to receive his great mercy through the grace of the sacrament of reconciliation.